things that, that stick out in my mind through the years about Kyle was obviously his love of tennis, and we had a common passion with that. And the other was his love of God. And at the time, I really didn't know about his love of God because I didn't have a relationship with God. And uh, I didn't go to a temple. I didn't pray to God. I didn't have a relationship with him. And it was only a few years ago that I have a, developed a relationship with God and I accepted him as my Lord and Savior. And when I did, Kyle knew about it. Kyle called me, was just for 37 of the 40 years, we never talked about it. But once he knew that I had uh, had a relationship with God, he called and thanked me, congratulated me. And so then our relationship took on a little different, uh, a different venue. We, we, now, we now went to Bible class together on Saturday mornings. And I loved those Bible classes. I knew that his health was declining. I knew he wasn't the same powerful physical specimen, but his mind was still sharp. And he was alert, and he was engaging, and he knew the Bible. Uh, and the class, the nature of the class was that uh, the teacher encouraged you to challenge a, a verse or challenge a question or challenge. And Kyle was never bashful about challenging something, and, and it would surface. The class loved him. Uh, I'll never forget, I, he obviously had been a member of this class before I ever joined it. And when he came back into the community and walked into the Bible class on Saturday morning, the entire class stood up and applauded him. It was like a, it, it was like a, a returning emperor or that everyone it was an unbelievable manifestation of the respect and that the love that they had for this man it, it wasn't an ex-mayor it was the the, the the admiration they had for this human being that was now suffering a few physical problems and uh, but he was joining the class. And I, I loved my Saturday mornings. Um, sometimes I'd pick him up, sometimes I'd drive him home. Um, he had a number of friends in the Bible class that were a little more convenient to picking him up than I was. I lived in Fountain City. And, but he always came, and he always, when he came, would seek me out and sit right next to me. So he'd sit right next to me in the Bible class, and then when the class was over and the fellowship began at a breakfast hour, he and I would always go into the dining room and we'd sit next to each other. So I had a good hour and a half to two hours every Saturday morning with Kyle. I treasured it. Uh, nothing would make me miss that Saturday morning.